In this tutorial, I will teach you how to perform the MATIC analysis. Eventually, we will go from interview transcripts like this to a full qualitative data analysis report like this. For this tutorial, I'll be using Envivo 14, one of the most popular software for qualitative data analysis. We will follow eight main steps to complete our thematic analysis, including step one, creating folders in Envivo 14, step two, importing interview transcripts into Envivo 14, step three, skimming through interview transcripts, which is also known as familiarization, step four, coming up with primary themes, which means we are using a deductive approach. Step five, categorizing each code under a primary theme. Step six, visualization, which will involve creating and exporting a hierarchy chart and creating and exporting a code book, developing a results report. So this is what you'll see when you first open NVivo. We have this pane, and this is where we are going to click to open the new projects. And we have this pane on, on our left, we have recent projects. We are going to create a new project. So we are going to click on this button here and create a new project. Let me call this flu vaccine too. And I'm going to create and we click on create the project. And Vivo is going to create our project. It's creating. And this is the different windows that you see after you open in vivo we have the file area we have home import create explore share and the different modules on the left panel we have files coding cases notes queries visualization and reports now let's look at the first step in in vivo which is to create folders so we go to the file section and we right click and then select on the create new folder let's call this folder interview and we click okay if we had data in other formats such as video we could right click create new folder and call this folder videos and also if we had a different type of data such as audio we could create another new folder by right clicking on the file section and call these audios so we would put the audios in the audios folder, the interview transcripts in the interview folder, and the videos in the videos folder. For this example that I am doing about the flu vaccine, I only have interview transcripts. So let's import the interview transcripts for this example. What I'll do is I'll go to this folder. This is the folder that has the transcripts that I want to, to code. I'm going to click on the first and the second participants, then drag and drop the transcripts in the interview section. And we have participant one and participant two. So that's how you import interview transcripts into NVivo. Simply go to the folder where you have them, drag and drop. Again, I place them on the interview folder in the data section. The next step in analyzing qualitative data using NVivo is the process we call familiarization. I will simply double click on either of my interview transcripts and read through each one of them to familiarize myself with the information in such interviews. So I'm going to read through slowly without, uh, okay, I'll have some ideas which I can note down in the notes section, for example, I can come down here and as I read, I create something we call a memo and I can create a memo by right clicking and call this participant one notes. And now as I read the interview transcript, I can click and take notes here. For example, the interviewee was not aware of the flu vaccine so this is just an example of how i can take notes as i familiarize myself with the interview transcripts so i'll go through both the interview transcripts again i can go back to the interviews and check participant two and go through the interview transcripts and familiarize myself with them and make notes of any form of themes that might emerge or anything i would want to note down 
So that's how you note down using the memo section in NVivo. Let's move to the next approach in conducting data analysis in NVivo, which is coming up with the primary themes. Here we have three main research questions that the research study sought to answer. The first question was, what are the parents' knowledge and perceptions about the flu? The second question was, what are the parents' sources of information related to illnesses like the flu and prevention strategies such as vaccination? And number three, what are the parents' perceptions and beliefs about the flu vaccine? Remember, I'm using the deductive approach to coding. Deductive coding involves coming to the data with some preconceived themes. So I want to create themes for my research question and considering the research question of what are the parents knowledge and perceptions about the flu I can come up with a primary theme of parents knowledge and perceptions about the flu so I right click on the codes area and I create a new code and call these parents knowledge and perceptions about the flu that's the first code then the next research question is what are the parent sources of information related to illnesses like the flu and prevention strategies such as vaccination so for this we get the code parent sources of information about the flu again right click new code paste parent sources of information about about the flu and from the research question what are parents perceptions and beliefs about the flu vaccine I can come up with the primary theme of parents perception and beliefs about the vaccine again I right click I create this as a new code and I paste it now I have these three primary themes so what I'll do is simply go to the interview data let me double click on the interview data and try to identify the codes that I can put under the primary themes let me give you an example of this first participant so let's look at a question like this would you please tell me kind of what you know about the flu sickness um well i think everybody kind of knows what the symptoms are and things like that i think a lot of people probably think they have the flu when they just have got a bad cold which isn't necessarily i suppose about the virus itself but more i suppose people's understanding of the virus now yeah no that's great to hear then the participant says I understand a little bit of thought about the vaccine science, about how there is a lot of different strains, and I believe if my understanding is correct, they tend to, for the next year's vaccine, they tend to look up data and see what strains have been most prevalent in the year before. And that's how they um, um, decide how they are going to do the vaccine year after and things like that. I know that there is obviously the option of injected vaccine and also the nasal spray that is especially useful for children and that's probably the extent of my knowledge right there. So here we can see that this falls under the parents' knowledge and perceptions about the flu. We can code this as knowledge about different flu strains. That can be a code, okay? I'm going to place this code under parents' knowledge about different flu strains is under the primary theme of parents' knowledge and perceptions about the flu. We can continue and hear. So the interviewer who is called Timothy Price asks, so do you think about flu like a serious illness or not so serious? Can you give me a sense for sort of how you think of it in that way? Now the interviewee says, mm, sort of both in terms of it can be a dangerous disease. So here we can see these are the parents' perceptions about the flu. We can highlight this code, drag and drop it here. And we call this flu is a serious condition. And we click OK. Again, this one is under. We drag and drop it here. So this one will be under parents' perceptions and beliefs about the flu vaccine. So we are going to go through the whole transcript and come up with codes and we categorize those codes under the primary, the three primary themes that we have. Every time we get a new code, we are going to categorize it either under parents' perceptions and beliefs about the vaccine, parents' knowledge and perceptions about the flu, and parents' sources of information about the flu. So all the codes will be in those three primary themes because we are using the deductive approach to coding, where we come with the primary themes first, then classify the codes under the primary theme. So I'm going to quickly go through the two interview transcripts and come up 
with all the codes needed. Now, I have gone through the two interview transcripts. As you can see, I'm going to show something we call coding stripes. Let me click here and show all. These are the coding stripes that I have included. I have included the coding stripes here. Let's go to highlights and we go to highlight all coding. And here you can see all the coding I have done has been highlighted. This is all the coding I did. For example, we can go to the codes and under the three primary themes of parent sources of information about the flu, for example that we have two main codes, we have materials from health professionals and we have the internet. So those are the two parent sources of information about the flu. And if I double clicked on the code here, you can see the citations or the excerpts, the interview excerpts that highlight those two codes. For Parents' knowledge and perception about the flu, we have the codes of common flu symptoms, confusing flu and cold symptoms, flu is a virus, serious illness, vigilance, vigilant of the flu. Those are the different codes I have under the theme of parents' knowledge and perceptions about the flu. Again, if I double clicked here, you can see the excerpts I have done from the interview transcripts. So that's how you classify or that's how you code using NVivo through the deductive coding process. First, you come up with the primary themes, then you place the different codes that you find under the main primary themes that you have come up with. Allow me to interrupt this tutorial to inform you of my services. If you are stuck and wondering how to transcribe and analyze your data in NVivo 14, I can help you with that. I will help you to transcribe all your interviews. I will also go through each interview one by one and come up with the right codes and themes. Finally, I will provide you with a qualitative data analysis report with visualization, including a code book and a hierarchy chart. If you are interested in this service, message me right now, link in the description. Thank you and let's get back to the video. Now, after you finish, creating all the deductive approach to coming up with the primary themes and the different codes in NVivo, you can then come up with different ways to visualize your data. One of the ways that we can visualize our data is through something we call a hierarchy chart. So we click on the explore button, go to the hierarchy chart and create hierarchy chart of codes. For example, for this theme of parent sources of information about the flu, we have this chart here. We can create it in a different format at this chart. This is the chart we have. I double click here and you can see under the theme of parent sources of information, we have the internet and materials from health professionals. We can export this hierarchy chart as something we call a PNG. I can save it as a PNG like this and we can insert it in our final qualitative data analysis report. So let's save that PNG for that theme. Again, we can click on another theme here and go to explore, go to hierarchy chart, create hierarchy chart of codes and then click on this format. Again, I this is the hierarchy chart for parents' knowledge and perceptions about the flu. And again, we can export this as a PNG and we are going to use it in our final qualitative data analysis report. Again, we can export a hierarchy chart for our final theme, which would involve going to a explore button, hierarchy chart, hierarchy chart of codes and click on this area. So this is how we create hierarchy charts, which is one of the most effective ways of visualizing your results in NVivo. Now, we can also export something we call the code book. The code book involves all the codes and a description of the codes. Remember, after you write or after you come up with your primary themes, it's important to go to code properties and provide a clear description of each primary theme and code. For example, the parent sources of information about the flu, the description is, this includes the sources that parents use to get more information about diseases like the flu and vaccinations about the disease. So that is the description of the parent sources of information about the flu, okay? 
So this code property is, this includes any knowledge parents might have about the flu, including its symptoms and whether it's a dangerous disease. So that's the description for the theme or the primary theme of parents' knowledge and perceptions about the flu. Let's look at a description for one of our codes, the code of materials from health professionals. Again, the description for that code is information from a book provided by a health visitor. So when you are doing your coding, it's important to provide a code description, which will be included in the final code book. So we can go to the share section in NVivo 14 and we go to export. We click on the export button and we click on export code book. And we have a prompt here export code book and the answer is okay you can see the code book here parents views on the flu vaccine in Newcastle United Kingdom the different codes under the code book include parents knowledge and perceptions about the flu which is or the description for that primary theme is we can put this in bold we can put the primary themes in bold so parents knowledge and perceptions about the flu this includes any knowledge parents might have about the flu including its symptoms and whether it's a dangerous disease so parents knowledge and perceptions about the flu will include common flu symptoms confusing flu and cold symptoms flu is a virus serious illness and vigilant of the flu so those are the different codes under the main themes of parent knowledge and perceptions about the flu and for instance for the code of common flu symptoms you can see the description symptoms the parent witnesses among children with the flu now we are going to include this code book and the hierarchy charts that we exported in the final qualitative data analysis report this is the final qualitative data analysis report and you can see the image we exported of the hierarchy chart so this is the parents knowledge and perceptions about the flu you can see the image there that the hierarchy chart that we exported that's how we visualize then you can see that for every code we include a short description and then include the quotes from the interview data so these are the quotes from the interview data that are italicized so one of the themes we have under parents knowledge and perceptions about the flu is common flu symptoms another code is serious illness another code is vigilant of the flu and another code so those are the three main codes we have under parents knowledge and perceptions about the flu then another primary theme we have is parent sources of information about the flu and this is how we visualize it again the different codes we have include materials from health professionals and the internet again for the primary theme of parents perceptions and beliefs about the flu vaccine we have this visualization this hierarchy chart which is the visualization and we have the different codes including consulting health practitioner about flu vaccine downsides of the flu vaccine supports vaccination finally we have the code book which includes the three primary themes and the different codes under them and the description of what each primary theme means and what each code means so this is the final code book that we have so that's how you write the final qualitative data analysis report and you visualize your results using a hierarchy chart and a code book I'm going to put a link to this final report if you want to download it and use it as you are writing your final qualitative data analysis report for your project. So you can access this for free. Remember, if you need transcription and qualitative data analysis services with NVivo 14, feel free to contact me. Link in the description. Thank you.